it is Wigan nil, Manchester United 2, Manchester United through to the fourth round of the FA Cup after beating Wigan Athletics at the DW Stadium, rolling back the years of the times we used to play against Wigan. Yes, Manchester United are through, baby. New Year, Manchester United finally get their first win in the new year it's unlike some of our rivals you know ha <laughs> ha arsenal still ain't won the game since last year since 2023 but back to the game of manchester united guys and what i have to say i can be happy with the result i can be okay with the performance but the score line am i really happy hell to the no do you know why because this is a team that's league one and manchester united struggled to be a team that that's in league one struggle to be clinical against a league one team's defense yes the amount of chances manchester united had but couldn't eat their dinner couldn't finish their dinner and that times it became frustrating players like marcus rashford we're, we're gonna talk about him today because another game of marcus trashford and he was absolute trash you know, Bruno Fernandes as well got his goal. But again, the performance in terms of galvanizing that midfield, taking it by the scruff of the neck and just dominating, failed to do that. But we're not here to talk about all complete negatives. We're going to talk about the positive, guys. For those who are watching, make sure you smash that like button and share it across all social media platforms and subscribe to Red United TV and follow Red United TV on Rumble. But yes, let's talk about that first 45 minutes because... Yes, we controlled the game for the first 45 minutes. We was creating chances. But was we converting them into goals? No, we wasn't. We wasn't at all. We struggled at times to score. You know what? The goalkeeper looked good. Sometimes tickle me elbow. I thought, raw, like, are you, are you, you're you making the saves as well. You're looking good. You know, you're making, Manchester United making Wiggins defense look a bit better than what they usually are. Because they wasn't, they wasn't eating their dinner. They wasn't finishing it off. And it was a struggle. And it was concerning. But the goal did come. And that goal came from Diego Dallo. I mean, Diogo Dallo, whatever his name is, man. Diego da Diogo, whatever. There's just been a mistake in the birth certificate. But Diogo Dallo scored from outside the box as well. Curls it in with a cool finish with his in... Uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's ice in the veins kind of celebration. And, of course, it was 1-0 to Manchester United. <sighs> but still, it could have been more than 1-0 because we, you could have, we also could have conceded a goal against Wigan early on in the first couple of seconds in the first half. But again, Manchester United, after the Dallow goal, they were creating chances. Hoyland had chances. Or Hoyland hitting the crossbar. Holden had a hat trick of misses, you know. He could have had a hat trick, but he had a hat trick full of misses, you know. Good, clear chance, cut chances, goals, which he ended up missing, you know. And that makes me think, hmm, this guy is he really? Is he is, is he the is he a B Tech Holland or C Tech Holland? I just don't know. But yes, Manchester United going into the a half time one 0 up against Wigan. In the second half where you think, come on boys, get some more goals. Destroy this team. Make me happy. You know, just make me enjoy it even more. But Manchester United went into that second half the same as they were in that first half. Yes, controlling the game. Yes, creating opportunities. But guess what? Just not converting these opportunities into goals. And it's really concerning because we've got Spurs next. I know we always say, it's only Spurs, lads. But this is this is Manchester United. We are a team that fucks up. We're fuckboys. So against Spurs, we need to be much more clinical. And it's concerning. The second goal coming from a Bruno Fernandes penalty, which he won himself. He got tripped. And this time there's no VAR. And I just can't explain to you why there's no VAR in the third round of the FA Cup, you know, you think they'll be, be a bit more organised when it comes to this type of competition, but they're not. And it's a cup game, and a cup game means a lot to these people, especially for a team like Wigan, who's, who's in the lower league. It means a lot to them as well. So I can't believe there's no VAR, but it would have been a penalty. Right? I can't imagine the referee saying no penalty because there was contact. Bruno, finishing it off as always, you know, scoring these penalties as he always does. Bruno Fernandes, as, as they call him as the nickname. And got that goal to make it 2-0 to Manchester United. Manchester United, and even in the second half, opportunities galore. But just not finishing it off. And it's, again, it's alarming, I have to say, for, Manchester, for you Manchester United fans. It was full-time, 2-0 Manchester United getting that win. 
Let's talk about it, guys. Let's talk about it. let's talk about the players because I'm looking at the players today. Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford against a League One defense, struggling to beat his man. You know, struggling to beat his man as always. Marcus Rashford was awful, and it's so concerning that someone that's on 300k can't beat a League One footballer that's probably earning one grand, two grand, three grand. I don't even think nowhere near ten to fifteen thousand pound a week, and you earn about twenty to thirty more times than that, and you still struggled, struggled to beat their defense, struggled to make the right decisions. You know what? I sh I scratch my head sometimes. I'm wondering if Marcus Rashford is good at maths, you know, or good at trigonometry like science and etc. Because he, he's football in IQ is just it's it's below the standards, you know. It's just, it's just won't improve. Like he was horrible. And, and, and again, we need to really start considering the fact that do we want this guy to be the forefront of a Manchester United, to be the face because the, he's inconsistent from season to season to season. But anyway, guys, even in games to game, he's been, he's been poor throughout the whole season. Bruno Fernandes had another game where he really didn't do nothing. And, he, and, and again, I have to say, the set pieces today with Bruno Fernandes or Rashford, can you please not do that ever again? Rashford, do not come anywhere near Bruno Fernandes because when you guys combine together trying to do your fusion, ha! If you end up becoming the fat gold trunks, you know, all the time. You're always messing up your fusions. You end up being the fat gold, gold tan. You are the fat gold tan when you fuse because it never it comes out right. You're, you're not coordinating right with your, with your fusion. Ha! Yeah, the, the dance ain't right. You know, you guys, you, you, you don't combine well. Like, just stop it. Bruno Fernandes and Mark Rushing. Stop it. Kobe Mino. He did all right today. But Rasmus Hoyland, like, seriously, mate. I am scratching my head when it comes to Rajmish Hoyland. I am not convinced that he is the one that can take us for school goals because he's struggling for goals at the moment. And then you look at Diego Dalo as well, who had a good game. It was, was instrumental throughout the whole first half and then second half, cutting in from the left-hand side into the midfield, tucking in, just doing well. And then Andre Onana, I don't know why he was in goal today. Why can't we see our second goalkeeper? Tenog, it was absolutely pointless. Well, you got to telling me your debut for Ata Bayinda is Spurs. And I've never said it again. We know that it's only Spurs, but Spurs can sometimes turn out to be the real Spurs and not be Spursy towards us and beat us. They did beat us last time. So, again, on another plane, I don't understand why. Why? It didn't make no sense. Man, the match today, guys, has to go to Diego Dallo for that goal, for the contribution as well. Don't give the match. It goes to my guy, Marcus Trashford, because, again, you have been horrible once more. Manchester United fans, we're through to the next round. We've got Spurs. Whew. Let's hope we win that one. I don't know about that one. You know, Manchester United, when we play a good team, we're not, we just don't show up. And if we play like we played then, we are going to get cooked on the Spurs. On the Tottenham Cock Spurs, bro. They will be cake. They will be frying us like we are the chicken, you know. We are the chicken. We are the hen. Definitely, guys. But it has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivory Spice. You let me know in the comments who your man of match is as well. And also who your donkey of the match is as well, guys. Till next time. Till tomorrow as well. As always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace.